Welcome to Course Style. Today, another hair product video. This time, complete departure from what we were doing before, it is going to be Doc Elliott Hair Grip, which is a clay-based, water-based clay pomade um, from Doc Elliott Grooming. And I had a great experience with it. A little different from the kind of things that uh, even clays or even pomades that we've used before. And I want to share it with you, so let's get right into it. Um, made by Doc Elliott Grooming. There's only about three or four products they make as far as hair. I mean, I think there's only two pomades and there's only a couple beard products and stuff like that and that's it. Still great stuff. A small portfolio that's well focused does not mean a bad product or a bad company. Sometimes is the best ones, the ones that focus. Either way. So... Plastic, matte plastic, black jar. I kind of liked that it's two ounces. I mean, yes, it's $16, $18 for two ounces, but I mean, when everything else you buy is four ounce jars or bigger, or, you know, two or three ounce tins, it, it just gets to be so many things and jars and space. So, I mean, a nice little matte finish, two ounce jar with a little tin lid, Really nice to just have a departure in product. And I mean, the whole label's like two colors. Background and silver. It's really nice. Um, as far as the... Uh, <laughs> my, my specific jar of hair grip is the most full thing of pomade I have ever seen that's not like a homebrew. This thing is, is like brimmed. And, uh, you know, you got this texture right there it's kind of um like you can see specks in it right and it's a very like smooth looking product it doesn't look anything like a gel or anything like an oil base it actually does look a lot like an oil base like at least on the top you have a scent it, it's a cologne scent so it's sort of like a Davidoff Cool Water or a, a Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. Like, it's a very, I mean, I prefer stronger, more brave sense, but this is very Solani, uh, which is not a bad thing. It just is a thing, right? As far as the consistency, now, this we're going to do something completely different than normal. I have damp hair. This is completely clean. Actually, I just got it cut today. Shout out to Jessica at Rock's Hair Shop in Durham, North Carolina. She has got to be one of the most consistent, awesome barbers I've ever had. I've had men, women, young, old. She's freaking great. And she gave me an excellent shave. Full deal. Like the brush, the cream, the pre-shave, the post-shave, hot towels, cold towels. It was great. Anyway, so we're going to do very small applications with very small little bits of product. So we need to be careful and we'll talk about that in a moment on why. So there's your product. Scooping out, it's easy to scoop, but it's very, I mean, look, it's super thick and stringy and pasty, right? So that's about all we're going to use, and we might only end up using two, maybe three, of that size lick. So it does not take much. So, you can even see, like, in the texture... It almost looks like gritty, and, and that's actually what, what I felt in the texture, is at first when you scoop it out, it just feels like an oil base, even though it's water-based. It's water, wax, hydrogenic extra oil, shea butter, it's that kind of stuff. But then as soon as you start rubbing, like you don't even get full coverage. Look at that. It kind of just shears up. Well, either way, that, that says a lot to what this product can be. And as far as, you know, the consistency, it is slightly... Um, like dry and almost gritty. It's mostly smooth. I mean, the breakdown's not difficult. That's that's not the, of course, it's, nothing's an issue, but it's not like what I was pointing out. It's just specifically let, that the stuff is so just thick and pasty. Um, of all the different clays I've used, this is probably the thickest and pastiest next to maybe, mm, hold on. Lockhart's matte clay. Felt like this, but that's a whole different product family. It's a Petro-based clay. So, that's number two. And if you've already got some in your hands, and you go to <laughs> break this down, 
it'll feel like real grippy in your palms first. So you do need to do small licks and please do not try to do this in dry hair. It's just, it, it's gonna, it's gonna cause you so much pain and strife. Okay, so actually what I did with this is I applied and then rubbed until nothing felt slick and slippery, like the, the, the water that's in my hair. I just kept going until nothing felt like there was not pomade on that specific part of my hair. All right. Uh, and, I mean, just speaking to application, styling and restyling was relatively easy. It wasn't a chore. It wasn't difficult. Uh, however... The amount of this product you use greatly changes what kind of style you get. I mean, there's some products that, like, you can use two licks, three licks, and it's about the same style both times, but one lick is totally different. This stuff, every lick completely changes how it behaves, how it does, what it does, right? And we'll talk about that a little later on as well. And as far as strength, now look, I was just mentioning it. This is, this, the Doc Elliott hair grip has got to be one of the best examples of a product for me where the amount you use just totally changes all attributes of the product. You know, like for example, the, the two small, the two regular one small lick that I put in, this will hold pretty much anything straight up out of my face and eyes. But like when I did kind of damp hair and like just did one decent size lick in my hand and I caught pieces of my hair but didn't get an even application, it was like pipe cleanery, like kind of clumpy and stringy, but not in a bad way. It was like sections of hair were held or put or whatever, but it wasn't like smooth and flowing, you know? It was very modern and PC and, 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 and just uh, dry and textured. It wasn't, it wasn't like what you would think of a matte finish, modern day pomade, pompadour kind of thing. It was really, it, it was really plain, you know? It just looked like I had no product in my hair, almost to the point that if I had really short hair, it would probably look and feel like a... Um, like a lot of the salon products are. So I'm just gonna run my pick through first, get all of it even, and at least get the hair all going in the same direction. And it really does comb through easy. There's no tension, there's no pulling. It's real smooth and easy, all right? Okay. Now while combing, it's a perfect time to talk about control. Comb goes through. See how the hair just really sits down? It doesn't puff out. It doesn't fight me. It doesn't go in every which direction. So if you wanted to do like a real matte finish slick back, I mean, look, this could hold it with no issue, right? But we're a little more creative than that. Course style is a little more creative than that. We want something that's got a little bit of attitude or personality. And that usually for me means height. So, regular parting of hair. We have done this so many times. But the ability to just pull apart super quick like that, it definitely speaks to the control you can get with Doc Elliott hair grip. As far as, like, the, the control, the ability to just have the hair move where it belongs, right? All right, we are just about parted and ready to get some volume in there. All right, now, shine. Uh, <laughs> there is none. There is no shine. There is no, uh, like, residual anything. I mean, I would not recommend this if you have dark hair. And don't like that dull look you get from some products where it almost looks dirty. Um, I would I would shy away from this specifically. Um, not all clays are like this, but a lot of them tend to be. So keep in mind when you're buying a clay that the focus is a very 
matte finish style. Alright, now, as far as the hardness, it never like set, it never didn't move or anything like that, like it stayed pretty, I mean look, it stayed pretty pliable the whole time, it never really dried or anything like that, it really just stayed soft. I mean the second day nothing felt soft because it does have a pretty decent hold, but as far as the everyday feel of it, it was really nice and pliable. And what I did like about the hair grip was that it had a, what's the best way to say this? It had a feel that was light in the hair, but it felt like it had a decent amount of like staying power. Like, it, I'm not going to say it's a heavy, no. But it borders on firm. It does. It borders on a firm control. A firm hold. It's right about there. All right. So, something quick and simple. Pretty much the normal style. Lifted. A little bit of texture and separation. Tight down sides. And... The restyle ability with it was pretty sharp and easy. Uh, went in the shower, one, maybe two shampoos, completely out. It is a water-based clay, but like with a lot of clays, they have a lot of residual staying power. So, it is pretty easy to get build-up if you want to. And the build-up with this felt pretty clean. I mean, you're pretty much water, wax, shea butter, castor oil. like. There's not a whole lot of stuff in here besides the kaolin clay. So that really helped keep it clean. Like, like the buildup felt... Uh, buildup felt... Simple. Like it didn't feel claggy or sticky or anything like that. But it felt like you had the confidence to apply less pomade and still get the same finish. Same style, same everything. Right? Or even completely restyle. Like on one of the days I just parted it on the other side and did over there and I got a lot of height after I blow dried too. So that's Doc Elliott hair grip. Seriously good stuff. Places to buy it will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching. This has been Course Style. Like, subscribe, stay greasy.